Father's Day is upon us and you got to order soon because shipping is taking so long these days. So we're going to list things from $8 to $800. We know some people's budgets are tight, especially this year. And I even have an idea for a free present that you can give your dad if you have zero budget. Uh, the first thing, we're doing 25% off of everything in our store. That's everything we're taking 25 percent off our videos our books our t-shirts our presets and you can do that by going to sdp.io slash store and using the coupon code dad 25. tony we even included your technical presets that people love i developed these technical presets to yeah. extract more dynamic range more shadows more highlights from your raw files than you can get using lightroom classic by default and i made a system where with just a couple of clicks you can pull out blue skies from overcast sky and pull up wildlife photos like this and so far I have great feedback and they save me a ton of time. That is like so Tony Northrup <laughs> to make really well implemented technical presets. Yeah everybody else is making like cool Instagram-y type things. Uh, <laughs> including me, including things. me. Um, so you can get those at stp.io slash tech presets. We also have t-shirts gray and blue they're usually $24.99 or 25% off sdp.io slash shirts. Okay, so the first piece of gear that we'd like to recommend is a flash for $40. This is great because it's a universal flash. It's made by Godox. It's the TT522. If your camera has a hot shoe on it, then you can connect this. It doesn't matter, Canon, Nikon, Sony, whatever. It doesn't have any automatic, it's all manual, but mm -hmm. that's what we shoot anyway. It doesn't matter if we have an automatic flash. I hate using automatic modes. It's a great way to learn, learn and it's literally 40 it's bucks. It's $40 and you can even get gels that attach. So if you want to try gel photography and get two of them, it's not so expensive that you can't do that. Uh, go to stp.io slash Godox flash for that. These are affiliate links so that helps us out. Speaking of our book, Stunning Digital Photography has a whole chapter on using flash. So it'd be a good way to accompany that flash. Yeah. $10 you... for STP and 40 bucks for the flash. Yes, you could get our ebook for seven dollars and get the flash and give someone a flash and the information on how to use it so that would be a good combination cecilia straps now i've had my cecilia strap here for over five years and it looks like a little worn but almost brand new this is my favorite strap i transfer this to every camera i try it's simple it's not overly engineered it looks good. In fact, this deal's so good that I just ordered another one as I was making these slides. Mm -hmm. And it's like $40, and they give you a free leather SD card holder. Um, I'm always so embarrassed when I see somebody walking around and they got that strap that says Canon in big red letters. Like, come on. Or the ones that look like- your camera a little. They look like seatbelt material. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's Not just- cool. It's just That's a don't need to look like nerds. You can well, dress it up a little bit. So if you use, if you go to Cecilia's, um, stp.io slash strap and use the coupon code northrop25 you'll get 25 percent off your entire order and you'll get the free leather sd card case with every order you can see the great deals they're like a hundred dollars now they're 40 50 dollars so that's a great deal okay tony i included the mavic air 2 because you love using your drones. This is gonna be one of the most top used thing in your camera bag. Yeah, just about every video, every photo shoot we have to get the aerial wide angle shot. It's so easy now that every photographer, landscape, portrait, wedding, everybody should have one. And you know, we are willing to rip apart DJI drones when they don't work well, but this one worked perfectly. And for $800, it's a fantastic deal whether you're shooting stills or video, it's great. It's pretty steep, but it's a good, deal for this quality of drone um go to stp.io slash ma2 to look at the drone okay this is a two-tier pr uh, product tony because i recently upgraded my monitors i'd had the same monitors for a long time and now i have the lg 5k monitors 5k which are like fifteen hundred dollars i think Dang. they're i think they're a little overkill um, you have the LG 4K monitors, and yeah. they look great. Mm -hmm. They're $650, still expensive, but a really beautiful monitor. And what I like about this for a gift, it is, it's like tangentially related. If you're editing your photos, you want a beautiful screen to be looking at, but it's something you can enjoy all the time. 
and it'd be great for like a gamer or if you just want to watch a movie or something it's a beautiful screen go to stp.io slash monitor lg and they are USB-C, so you can hook them directly with a single cable into your MacBook or whatever. Yeah. So if you use a laptop, and especially if you're working from home, an external monitor helps so much. I love them. All right. I got you this Ember mug years yeah, which ago. I'm literally using now. And you use it. I went to look for it to show people, and you were using it. You use it every single day. You love it. It's the most expensive mug I've ever seen. It's $100. Um, it keeps your drink the same temperature and you monitor it. If you are a dad and you're a nerd or your dad is a nerd, this is... You have is... to be a nerd to want warm <laughs> coffee. When you use a regular mug, I'm always going back to the microwave and I'm like trying to warm it up because I love my coffee to be hot. I don't like it, but it cools off right away. Yeah. This keeps my coffee at the perfect temperature for like an hour and... It's great. I do not get the travel one. The travel one, the yeah. lid always breaks. We had it. My, this one's better. My other one. piece of advice, if you're going to get this, don't get the white mug because they're ceramic coated, which is nice. But if you use a spoon in them, it leaves like all these gray marks that are really ugly. So get the black one. We have really tested the entire range I know. of Ember mugs. We are thorough with every product we use. 99 bucks seems like a lot for a mug, but you use it a couple of times a day over... I've had it fine for like four years. It yeah. ends up being pennies a day. Oh my gosh, listen to you. I want to also say, if you are a non-tech person and you want a good mug and you travel or you're out hiking or something, the Contigo travel mugs are really good and they're like 15 to $30. We really like ours. Okay, I did a video a few years ago, Tony, on things that inspire me to take photos and one of them was that I look at photo books. We have photo books all around our house. They're on our coffee tables, they're everywhere. You look at them and you get inspired to take pictures. My favorite photo, my favorite photographer is Gordon Parks. I gave away some of these small $13 books a few years ago with my video, um, but a photo book is a great gift. I'm gonna recommend Gordon Parks because he's my favorite photographer. So go to stp.io slash parks and you can get a huge photo book for $50 if you want something smaller and more affordable, this is um, the photographs of Gordon Parks. It's very small and it's only $13, but they're great photos and it's a great inspiration to shoot. You want it? Yeah, thank you. I bought a few of them. Here's a piece of gear that's more affordable as far as lenses go. It's a $250 eight millimeter fisheye lens made by Sam Yang. Um, it's fun. It, is it the sharpest lens? No. <laughs> Would it get like a glowing review from a technical perspective? Probably not, but it is so unique and fun. It's a circular fisheye if you attach it to a full frame camera or a regular full width fisheye if you put an APS-C or Micro Four Thirds camera on it because you can get them for like any mount. Yeah, it gives you a really different perspective. It makes your photos look very different and because of that it inspires you to take different kinds of photos. So if you want to inspire the photographer in your life, maybe consider this and the Gordon Parks book or something, but it looks really good. I do not have these Apple AirPod Pro $230 earbuds, but I know a certain fancy dad next to me who does. Yeah, I always have these on. The regular AirPods are great. I have them. These <laughs> are noise canceling. And you know why that's important? Because I like to enjoy the outdoors. I'll bring my laptop and work outside on our yeah. backyard. And within four to five seconds, my neighbor will fire up their lawnmower. Vroom. Yeah. In fact, if your neighbor's lawn gets a little out of control, just go try to enjoy the outdoors and that guarantees they will start to mow their lawn. But I can put these in and I don't hear a thing. And that's absolutely wonderful. And you can, you hold the little tab on it for one second and it goes into transparency mode so you can hear people talking to you or you can hear the birds chirping it's absolutely a, they're wonderful yeah they, they've changed how i work because now i'm more likely to spend a lot of time outside and they've made me happy they have and 234 bucks is a lot but they should last years and you can use them every single day again pennies a day stp.io slash airpods pro if you're not in the whole apple if you're not locked into their structure um, i use really good over the ear kind of bulky monitoring headphones that professional studio like musicians use i'll put that down in the link as well um, i like them a lot and sometimes i like to use my over the ear headphones but oh and can i say i edit video and most bluetooth headphones are too laggy 
So you watch it and there's like a split second lag where everything is out of sync. Yeah. But these Apple AirPods, there's no lag at all. It happens in real time. So like the only wireless headphones I can use. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't realize that. All right, we just reviewed the Sony ZV-1. It's a fun camera. It's a great camera, not without flaws, of course. But it's a great camera. It's $750. It's easy to take anywhere. Uh, if you want to be recording a family vacation or if you want to be making a vlog, it's great for that. Uh, so go to stp.io slash zv1. That's a good one to request. Yeah, watch a review on it. It's that great. becomes a family gift if you're taking video of your family. And then, of course, I wanted to include my free gift idea. I know a lot of people are, are on a tight budget this year. And so I had the idea, if you can't buy anything, set up a photo experience for your dad and go take pictures with him. Either like find a place nearby with good wildlife or find a photogenic area and go there and enjoy it together and take pictures or even something as simple as arranging a still life and then taking photos together. Um, it'll be a great way to spend time together. If your dad likes photography, he'll appreciate that and it won't cost you anything. Can I do my impression of your dad receiving this gift for Father's Day? <laughs> ah, what do I need pictures of myself for? I got a mirror. <laughs> Selfies. You know, that's what Eddie would sound like. I didn't say take selfies. Okay, I also wanted to show off my dad because he's very cool. He's really sweet and he doesn't care at all about technology or cameras. Literally so, the only two photos of him in existence. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, one thing he really loves is watching birds to the point where they love him and they come to him. He has this turkey in his yard that comes to him to be fed, and so I'm getting him a blueberry bush because it attracts more birds and more wildlife. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about spoiling Father's Day because there's no chance of him ever being on YouTube and seeing this. No, he doesn't care about that, which no. I love about him. So I hope that you all have a great Father's Day. Um, cherish your time with your family. I know I have something nice planned for you, Tony. Oh. And that's it. If you have any other ideas, you can put them down below, especially free ideas. That'd be cool or products, whatever. And we'll see you next time. Bye.